One day until DJI's Because Life is Big event, we will finally see the DJI Osmo Pocket. The latest leaks, including specs, coming right up. Felix here with Quadcopter Guide, bringing you the best drone guides, reviews, and tips. On this channel, we cover a lot of drone rumors and leaks, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. As a matter of fact, our blog, quadcopterguide.com, got started with drone rumors back in the day, and we've even been featured on The Verge, Cinema 5D, TechCrunch, Gizmodo, Premium Beat, just to name a few. But right now, we will discuss the Osmo Pocket and check out the latest leaks and rumors. Since our last video, there's been more pictures and even a video that got leaked of the DJI Osmo Pocket. And we also got our hands on some specs, which is how we figured out how big to make our prototype. I call this Osmo Pocket 1. So a birdie in a tree told us that this whole device is 16 centimeters tall or 160 millimeters. In inches, that's... Uh, and what's also interesting, check out the comparison to the Osmo Mobile the size of the, the handle part, and that includes the gimbal and the camera. It's pretty crazy. And it'll also be a little bit shallower too. So we know it'll be compact, because otherwise they wouldn't have called it the Osmo Pocket. Let's jump in some of the specs. Rumor on the streets is that we're going to get 4K at 60 frames a second. This would be a first for an Osmo type device. Usually we get uh, cinema 4K at 24, 25 frames per second, and then 4K at 30 frames a second added on, but uh, 50 and 60 frames per second usually doesn't get added until 2.7K. But based on these rumors, we're gonna get 4K at 60 frames a second. I'm guessing we're not gonna get cinema 4K at 60 FPS, but hey, if we were to get 60 FPS at 4K, I'd be happy. We're gonna get a full three axis gimbal on this new Osmo. We're gonna get some smart recording features like active track where the device will move and the camera will move to where you are in the frame, just like we do on the drones or on the Osmo mobiles. We're gonna get hyperlight mode, which is basically improved nighttime photos, time-lapse mode, one tap panorama, and we're rumored to see something called smile detection. Maybe this will only take a picture when everybody in the frame smiles. Holiday family pictures solved. We've also heard that there's going to be quite a few accessories for the Osmo Pocket. As in this previous leak, you saw the attachment with the extra buttons and thumb wheel. And it looks like in the prototype, there's a little slider here, probably hiding the lightning or USB-C cable part. It features a rechargeable 875mAh 7.7V 2S LiPo battery. Total weight is claimed to be 300 grams. The rumored price range is $259 to $399. I'm not sure if there's going to be a beginner model and an advanced one, but that's what the rumors point to. Also, the Osmo Pocket has its own little touchscreen right here, but it can also be connected to a smartphone, iPhone or Android, and there you can use a new DJI Mimo, Mimo, Mimo app to control the device. It'll connect to your smartphone via Wi-Fi or the built-in cable. We will get multiple camera color profiles and it will feature some onboard flash storage so no more forgetting the micro SD card. Of course you can also add a micro SD card to record more. One feature will be access to multiple live streaming applications using the RTMP or RTSP protocols. And the question of the day, do you think the Osmo Pocket will be a big holiday gift item this year? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you watch this after the release, thanks for watching anyways, be sure to head over to the blog for the latest on the Osmo Pocket.